<laughs> Good morning, Church of the Cross. This is the Lane Hart family. We haven't seen you in forever. We're excited to do this. So this morning, um, in thinking about what we wanted to say for prayer time, um, I went to um, my Jesus Calling devotional book. My grandmother gave it to me, and um, I, I go back to it occasionally when I need to. Um, to find good words and I did find some really good words for it's actually for June 27th so if you have this devotional um, look up June 27th and this is what we're reading from but I feel like it's kind of appropriate for what's going on in the world right now so Jenna take it away sure. rest with me a while you have journeyed up a steep rugged path in recent days the way ahead shrouded is on in uncertainty look neither behind you nor before you instead focus your attention on me your constant companion trust that i will equip you fully for whatever awaits you on your journey i designed time to be a protection for you you couldn't bear to see me all your life at once though i am unlimited by time it is in the present moment that i meet you refresh yourself in my company breathing deep drops drafts of my presence the highest level of trust is to enjoy me moment by moment i am with you watching over you wherever you go all right so there are a couple things that we need to pray for for members um in our church and obviously we can't say their names because this is going to go on the the internet um but some of the things that we're definitely praying for this this week and, and continuing to pray for um as some of you know most of you know i'm a hospice social worker so a lot of um, the things that i am seeing right now um, as i've continued to do visits throughout um, the covid 19 and the, and the quarantine the shutdown um, there's a lot of anxiety and depression and some of our members are experiencing that um, some people who are watching this may be experiencing that um, People feel isolated and they feel alone, and that's a lot of what I'm hearing from my patients is, um, especially the ones in the nursing homes, they're alone and they don't get visitors and nobody can come see them. And FaceTime is good, but it's not that in-person connection. So there's a lot of a lot of that that we're, we're seeing, we're experiencing. So we really wanna lift up the people who are um, hurting in that way. Um, on a, on a happier, more exciting note, we're really praying for the reopening of the church. Um, we're looking forward to getting back to normalcy and how that's gonna happen and praying for our church leaders as they decide how that's gonna look in the future. Um, and then we're praying for our graduating seniors. I mean, what a crazy time to be graduating. What a crazy time to be going out into the world and, and changing as the world is changing kind of on a daily basis. So we're praying for those seniors. We're congratulating those seniors. We're celebrating with them um, and, and looking forward to seeing what God does in their lives going forward. Um, and Natalie's got a couple more. We pray for a member with two grandkids with serious health problems. A member has lost a sibling recently. Um, some cancer a member just had back surgery and a member with a heart procedure so um a lot of things that have been going on um i'm sure that you guys all have some prayers and petitions that you want to lift up so we're going to take a moment of silence and we're going to lift those up um, to god who knows exactly what our hearts need Amen. Thank you guys. See you later.